China is going to eat our lunch? Come on, man. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, not they're competition for us. There was a debate here in the United States, and quite frankly, throughout most of the West, is whether a rising China was in the interest of the United States and the wider world. As a young member of the Foreign Relations Committee, I wrote and I said, and I believe then what I believe now, that a rising China is a positive, positive development, not only for China, but for America and the world writ large. Joe Biden, while he was vice president, took billions of dollars in bribes from the Chinese government in the form of payments to his son Hunter's businesses. In exchange, Biden was soft on Chinese military and economic aggression. We're not trying to contain China. We're not trying to slow down Chinese growth. The growth of China is overwhelmingly in our interest. The Chinese government putting billions of dollars into Biden family business. 100%. It's a, it's a disgrace. And then he says China is not a competitor of ours. China is a massive competitor of ours. The U.S. Vice President Joe Biden has launched a week-long tour of East Asia with a visit to China. The two financial heavyweights stressed the need for a close relationship if the global economy is to return to health. Biden's host, the Chinese Vice President Xi Jinping. If there's anything great about the Chinese economy and their technology, it's because they've stolen all of our brilliant ideas and trade secrets from needy tech companies who cave to Chinese whims for market share. Our country loses an estimated $600 billion a year through this blatant intellectual property theft. China's initial response to the coronavirus received praise, but now with the accusations of cover-ups, crackdowns, and even forced quarantines beginning to mount, is China trying to shut down coronavirus whistleblowers? The start of criticism towards the Chinese authorities was the death of whistleblowing doctor Li Wenyang. It's also a massive abuser of human rights, and guess who's helping them do that? The Chinese government has recently developed a phone application designed to surveil ethnic minority Muslims. The technology relies on facial recognition software created by a Chinese company called Face Plus Plus, which is a division of a major startup called Megvi. And one of Megvi's most prominent investors is none other than Hunter Biden. China is going to eat our lunch? Come on, man. They can't even figure out how to deal with the, 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 the fact that they have this great division between the China Sea and the mountains in the east, I mean, in the west. They can't figure out how they're going to deal with the corruption that exists within the system. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks, but guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, they're competition for us.